So yeah, I'm a character artist in the video game industry and I can now make a game. Well, almost. Here's what I learned in the last month of deep diving into game development with Unity and Game Creator. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, do like, subs, hit the bell if my videos are of interest to you. As mentioned in my previous videos, I am a character artist in the video game industry now for many, many years. And even though it has its ups and downs, <laughs> crunch time, it's mostly a very positive vibe and I wouldn't have it any other way. As mentioned in my intro video here, I tried many coding languages in the past years, but it just didn't click. And yes, I routinely gave up year after year, but now I've actually found plugin system for Unity Game Engine, and that's Game Creator. I mean, it fundamentally bridged the gap between right and left brain thinkers. Well, I think so anyways. Over the last month, I've been really digging into both Unity and Game Creator, learning as much as I can with the time I have between freelancing, family, and training. <sighs> time is a very precious commodity. But enough with the blah blah, let me show you what I learned. If you remember from the video here, it all started in this room, learning how to control the player, creating a menu, and a simple HUD to open in the chest and exiting the level. It wasn't that long ago, but wow, looking back at this, I have grown exponentially since then. So, let's see where I'm at now, and all the stuff I've learned with my learning prototype. Aside from the basic fundamentals such as character locomotion, one of the very first things I wanted to accomplish with this plugin was to learn how to create a combo. And with the melee module for Game Creator, it made the process so, so much easier. Here's a four input combo I created. Aside from that, the hero character has a few other moves such as this ground slam and a short as a sort of Bruce Lee one inch punch, but with a little bit more motion. Okay, fist flying through the air is great and all, but let's break some stuff. Another system that I learned, destructibles. Fair warning, I've never been able to get rigid bodies looking right, but I think I did an okay job here for once. And honestly, this move is so killer and mad addictive to do. I, I just had to get rigid bodies going. I had a lot of fun breaking stuff. And honestly, who doesn't love a ground slam? It's mad addictive and fun to do. I had to get rigid bodies reacting correctly to it. I love a good AOE ground smash attack. Who doesn't, right? And learning how to instantiate objects. Ooh, look at me using programming language. It was awesome that it can create a smash effect in the correct location, which was awesome. Aside from that, I was able to implement numerous other movements using the PS4 DualShock controller. Like the dodge roll, this is a must move. In an action game, it's a must. Now I didn't get around to finishing the system, but her stamina bar for jumps and dodge roll do take effect and reduce as she uses them. And if you're familiar with popular games such as Dark Soul, using your moves too much lowers your stamina to the point that you no longer are able to perform that action. And in her case, it's dodge or even the jump. To this point, I seriously can't believe how much fun these systems were to pick apart and implement. Okay, so this guy over here, we will get back to him in a bit. Let's head over to the combat training room to have a little fun. Now I'll be honest here, this idea for the combat room was based off Astral Chain, which is a game I honestly can't wait to play. Implementing a contextual menu that pops up based on my proximity to the monitor was very cool to implement. It took a bit of work to get going and wrap my head around, but it was cool nonetheless. Side note, I have learned a lot about triggers, variables, and bools to the point I feel confident enough to use them thanks again to this amazing plugin. Okay, let's put some herd on this training bot. Let's choose combat and run through the simulation. Ah yeah, buddy is a tad aggressive here, but it's all part of the fun of designing the game. Okay, I'll be quiet now. Let's listen and watch for it. Oh. 
So yeah, a lot was happening there from the player being able to focus on the actual target to hit damage output uh, above his head to perfect blocks and counters and sound effects and the hit effects all happening at the same time is very, very cool. And I cannot believe I did this in a month. So one other thing I implemented was a simple dialogue. Uh, my kids and I had a little bit of fun adding voices and such to it. Uh, they were suitably impressed, I can tell you, at how easy it was to do. My little four-year-old guy here uh, can't stop saying, I'm doing great. Every time he passes by me now. Sorry, hold on one second. I just got to do this just one more time. Haha, <laughs> too much fun. Okay, let's move on. And that's about it. The last thing I started to implement was the crystal where you can activate to go to the next level. And that's where we end for now. So the question is, what has this entire month long experience taught me? Well, even with my limited personal time, I barely even had time to play games last month. I learned that I can finally create something that's actually playable. As an artist, coding is not something I really wanted to learn, but I knew it had to be a part of the process and Game Creator actually made it accessible for me to do that. It made the process fun. And at the end of the day, that's what counts, right? So what's next? Well, it's time for me to move on to my main project. My younger brother, who's an artist as well, more on the traditional concept end, we're fleshing everything out. And hopefully in time, I'll be able to launch a fancy devlog to track the progress and share with you guys. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you made it all the way to the end, I thank you and truly appreciate it.